hi YouTube, my name is Herdy AU and uh, welcome to episode 11 of my Let's Play series of Soma. Um, so just carrying on where episode 10 uh, left off, uh, obviously, uh, that makes sense, good one. Uh, I'm just continuing the play, I haven't taken a break and I'm just going to keep going with it. Uh, so we are trying to go check out, well not trying, we're doing, I'm going to go open up the doors to Imogen Reed. Guy Conrad is there with the two names. All right. Okay. All right, well, I stand next to it and nothing. I wish I knew Brandon better. What would make him talk? Hmm. Let's see what happens. All right, on the count of three. Three, two, one. Oh, they're not prison cells, they're just bedrooms. Still. Freaky as shit. What's here? Mm, okay. Maybe pick... You know what? Go look for Brandon's room. Let's do some investigation. I'm sure we can get to him somehow. That wasn't me. Just... That wasn't... That wasn't me. I did not do that. All right, Brandon's room. Here we go, Brandon Wan's room. I'll just override the lock for you. Hmm. Thank you. I'll consider it. If we get to know him, maybe we can make the simulation a little smoother. Totally makes sense. Uh. Oh, okay. What do we got here? Some more photos. Not sure if these are meant to be images of the Ark. I'm going to probably say they're actually images or photos of his previous life before the comet hit. Nothing on the back. All right, that's fine. Let's check this thing. Brandon, you ready to go? Stromise is the time to move. I'm waiting for Strasky and I'll borrow to pack up their stuff. Head downstairs and I'll meet you there. Don't take too long. Don't worry, we're right behind you. It seems like they were getting ready to leave. Heard some lady telling Brandon to hurry up. You got that from the intercom? Must be a transmission buffer. Hang on. That's Alice Coster. Wouldn't have guessed they even knew of each other. Interesting. Ooh, a light switch. That's what those things are. Okay, Hack has finally agreed to evacuate Delta, Goya, Cryer, and I moved into theatre today. Uh, I said to stick around for a while longer. That crazy bastard. I take pride in my work, but goddamn, that place is miserable since the surface stopped sending parts. <laughs> Great. Mm, okay. Seems like Alice and Brandon did their scans together. Oh, we can definitely use that. I think we got this, Simon. I can synthesize Alice's voice from the intercom and use it to impersonate her for the simulation. We can trick him into feeling safe enough to open up. Great. Definitely feeling good about this. Good job with the intercom. I didn't know you could data mine. What's it like? It's just something that I do now. So it comes naturally to you. That's really interesting. Yeah, I'll make sure to add it to my dating profile. Hmm. Hmm. This part here. So the biggest pain was Chun. So obviously that's why Catherine wasn't really getting through to him. He doesn't like her. Yeah, whatever. Okay, we've got the points that we're looking for. Let's head back and see how we go. Still remaining very cautious around corners, that's for sure. Whoop, hang on, what just happened there? I think my mouse just spazzed out on me. I did not want to head that way. All right, let's see how we go this time. What was that? That was not... When... That door was always closed, when did that open? Look at all the blood and... Oh, something's come out. I compiled 
the Nalus module that we can use. So she'll be with Brandon in the simulation? Sort of. I'll still need to do the talking, but it'll sound and look like Alice. Wait, that door was closed before. It was fully closed. Something's in here with me. All right, let's get this over with. Yeah, but it shouldn't make any difference. You're still you. I'm not sure what to do with the data. You decide. Oh, really? Um, uh, 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 Array, shut down. Uh, shut down for now. Could need it later. Do I still need these thingies? No. Still don't like the way that door is open. All right. Simon, we got it. We can get to the Dunbat now. Get back here. Can I still use this? Lock it in? Oh, I guess not. All right. Oh, what was that noise? Oh, loading screen. Something's here with me. Fuck it. I'm running. I'm out of here. I'm done. Extracted the cipher from Brandon's data somehow. So cruel bringing him back like that. No, that's impossible. Memories don't work like that. Let's just hope it was worth it. So I wonder if one's still walking around the place now that There you are. Just oh. warming up the dunbat for us. Spent collecting dust for months, so it might need a minute. Oh. Yes. Okay, that's it. That's everything. Let's go ahead and... Huh. That's weird. Huh. Never mind. What do you need me to do? Head inside the dock. The Omnitool can open the door now. And get into the Dunbat. Then plug me in and I'll take us into the Abyss. Sounds easy enough. Of course. Easy. Yeah, sure. Oh, that's weird. Oh, um, no. Never mind. Just, just go swipe us in. Yeah, easy. Uh, buttons. All right, that's not doing anything. He's not moving. I'm just not very good at moving buttons. Okay, nothing. Oh, hang on. Maybe that's why. Go on, get in there. There we go. Yeah. Easy peasy. Yeah, we got this. Uh, 
Alrighty. Oh, this is really dark. Is there any light switches? Oh, this is dark. I don't like this. Come on. Oh, can I move this thingy? I can. Alright, where am I trying to move this to? I'm not going to get it under that. I'll probably have to bring it all... Oh, maybe. Okay. Oh. Oh, yes. A tunnel. <laughs> I don't want to go. Oh, I don't want to go. Oh. I really hope there's nothing in here with me. Okay. Oh. Bit of a jolty loading screen. Or maybe it wasn't. I mean, I didn't see the loading icon. Maybe it's just my computer freaking up. Oh, there's the loading screen, yeah, so whatever. Oh man, it, there's gonna be so there's gotta be something in here. Oh fuck off. Oh fuck off wherever you are. Don't be in here with me. Don't be in here. I mean it it can't be. I mean, there's nowhere for me to go. I mean, if there is something actually in here, what am I supposed to do to get away from it? I can't run. I'm at a crawling pace. There's no way the developers would put something in here. Health, yeah. Alrighty. Hmm. Looks like a something that goes here. I'm guessing that thing goes on this table. Got to. Yeah. Is that it? Is that the thingy? Maybe. I don't know. There's a computer though. Let's go push it and see what happens. What's this? Uh, for the safety of you and your colleagues. Hmm. Put on the neoprene undersuit and body harness. I don't see one of those. Check the HPS for any visual damages. Uh, okay. Maybe I should just read this just in case. So, starting with the legs, fix the parts onto your harness and work yourself upwards. Okay, locking all the pieces together. Let your partner help you. I don't have one of those. Hmm. Tap the secure button on your arm piece. The suit will start to equalize. If the suit doesn't seal itself, Flex the shock absorbers and try again. All right, do I get a suit? What's on this board? Hmm, just a map. Oh, what's this? Um, oh, that looks like Catherine there on the far right. Great. All right, what's on the computer? Oh, Omnitool. Move you out the way. Maybe Catherine would help me. Huh? Wait, this isn't... Oh, no! Wow got to the Dunbat before we did, am I right? Well, it was talking. That's rarely a good sign. Damn it. The Dunbat was our best shot. I was really banking on this to work. Come on, we can't quit now. There's gotta be another way. How do you think you did it? 
How did the team get the Ark down the Abyss in the first place? If they didn't use the Dunbat, the only other way would be the Climber at Omicron. It's like an elevator which supposedly reaches all the way down into the Abyss. Okay, so we do that. We go to Omicron and take the elevator. Yeah. Okay. Sure. We'll just head over to Omicron and hope there's a power suit that fits you. You know, so you don't implode while in the Abyss. <laughs> that does sound useful. All right, let's go then. Wait, what is this place? Seems to be a lot of information on the art here. There's a prototype and everything. Okay. Let's start it up. I want to see how it works. Maybe we can figure out how to get on the Ark. Um. You didn't know how to get us on? How difficult could it be? That's not encouraging. Okay. Uh, Ark scans. I'm sorry all of you wanted to go, but didn't get the chance to scan yourself before the project was put on hold. It's been two months living okay. Basically an apology letter to people that can't go. Hmm. So. Alright, so we're here. There's Omicron. Tau. Ark. Sure. Oh, okay, let's go. Okay. Recently it was decided that the ARC project would become Pathos 2's last official commitment. The staff has been urged to carry on with their duties despite Earth's catastrophic condition. I think the ARC project is the most logical step towards saving mankind and that we should spend as much time and resources as needed to complete it. Makes sense? I will strongly agree. To embark, every passenger needs to be flushed with electric magnetism using a pilot seat. These scanning sessions are known to cause nausea and headaches, sometimes lasting up to three days. I think temporary physical discomfort, no matter how severe, is a small price to pay to save mankind. Um, sure. Agree. Not strongly, you know. The Ark is built to fit a Ranger Mark 7 probe, meaning it could be shot into space with the Omega space gun and technically survive for thousands of years, living off the light from our sun and distant stars. I think the Ark should leave Earth behind to be launched into space. I think the, Earth, the Ark should, be, should, leave, uh, should leave Earth... I think the Ark should leave Earth behind and be launched into space. Hmm, yeah... Yeah, sure. The digitalization of humanity is an opportunity to make a quantum leap in our own evolution. The people inside the Ark will out of necessity be generated from existing genetic code, but could be altered to allow the cosmetic changes ease, or ease aging and even prevent death. I think we are at risk of losing our humanity if we were to rid ourselves of disease and our morality. Mortality. Morality. Mortality. Ugh. Hmm. Yeah, that is potentially possible. I mean, losing humanity if you cannot die. But I suppose this whole game is essentially about what it is to be human. Let's just go with agree. It could be possible. Well, maybe I should have disagreed. Because humanity, I guess, from what we're seeing out of this, is what you make of it. There are only 58 people left alive to be stored inside the Ark. A way to diversify and expand the population would be to introduce artificial intellig intelligences that would in every way appear to be human, both with childlike and naive sensibilities. As we continue to explore the nature of intelligence, we may find a way to make them smarter in the future. I think even in an inferior group of artificial people would benefit our society. Uh, I mean, how are things going at the moment, I guess? I mean, there's lots of robots going around that's trying to kill people. So, based off what I'm seeing, I'm going to go disagree on that one. Okay, thank you for participating. This is how your colleagues voted. Arc approval. Eternity among the stars. Inferior companions. Uh, it's a bit, hmm, even, okay. Pain for gain. Artificial evolution. Yeah, okay. Well, that didn't really help me too much, I don't think, in any way. Oh, hang on. Can I plug this in here? Go on, in. And... Hmm. 
No device connected. I'm trying to connect. Start an arc simulation. I want to see how it works. Oh, that's what I'm trying to do. That's right. Come on. Yay! Um, I understand this mumbo jumbo. That's a lot of memory. Although this is very far in the future, is this a lot or very little? By today's standards, yeah. Okay. Um, what am I doing here? Hmm. Plains grass. Okay, that's gonna be. What's the trick to this one? Hmm. Type of water. Where be the water? I have no idea. Um. Hmm. I might muck around with this a little bit and maybe. Uh, yeah, I'll muck around, click a few things, and maybe skip forward once I figure out what to do. Okay. Aha! Uh -huh. Got it! Try loading a dummy scan. Shouldn't be that difficult. I just want to make sure I understand how the scan data is formulated before we start messing around with the real arc. Hmm. Run the simulation and then hit pause while the code is running. It'll give me a cross section of the process. Dummy scan? Oh, I want to see what happens when I do myself, but hmm, I'm sure there's an innuendo in there somewhere. Um, hmm, dummy, alright, fine. How do I pause? Oh, I haven't even started. Ha! Ah, there, pause. Um, pause. We need to pause while the dummy is loaded, otherwise I can't know if it's working or not. Alrighty. Yeah. I don't know when it's loaded. Just maybe wait for this stuff to stop. Oh, I finally get it. It's been flying through. Dummy! Yeah! Here I was waiting for something to actually complete. Yes, of course. So precise, so perfect. Nothing like admiring your own work. What? Oh, right. So now we know how to get on the arc, right? Kind of. What? It's just I don't really know who you are. Maybe there's a way to plug you in or maybe scan somehow. We need to figure this out before we leave. You want to scan me? Hmm. All right. Take a look around the room. There must be something here that can help us. Oh, well, wonder if that could have done it. I mean, I mean, shoving my fist in it all, all game. Um. Scan. How can I? What's, what's this? this thing? That's just a compound examiner. Jinx. Coster Could you fit inside it? If I knew what you were made of, it would be a hell of a lot easier to figure out how to get you on the Ark. Well, I'll give it a try. Alright. Radiation hazard. Okay. Alright, that is episode 11, did I say it was? I think it is, yes. Episode 11 is now complete. Um, I'll continue on with the next episode as soon as uh, I step into here, but I'm going to leave it here for now. Uh, if you did enjoy this video, by all means, please give it a like. That would be greatly appreciated. And leave any comments or feedback uh, on what you'd like to see more of uh, or... Maybe, I don't know, whatever. That's what feedback's for. Uh, anyway, thanks for watching.